Bud Light has been faced with major backlash coming from the right mainly, and now that Dylan Mulvaney has been disavowed by Anheuser-Busch, we are also seeing the left now disavowing Bud Light for doing that move. Having gay bars boycotting the company on top of its already terrible sales decline of 20% plus in just one week, plus having other beer companies such as Miller and Coors Light seeing their sales increase. And because of the amount of backlash Bud Light has been receiving, it wasn't just affecting the company. It was also affecting their workers and their distributors with having Bud Light giving away free beer cases to their workers or any distributors in order to ease tensions. Which takes us to present day with now having Donald Trump coming out and giving his piece on what's going on with the company and what they need to do in order to fix them themselves, having Anheuser-Busch needing to deal with Donald Trump as well as his supporters on top of the already ongoing boycotters. As we get into the article, but before we do, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate it. Former President Donald Trump on Sunday broke his silence on the Bud Light boycott, writing in a social media post that the beer maker's loss in sales shows that money does talk. The MAGA leader made the jab on his true social platform while praising a new book that calls to defund leftist woke companies. Trump has been uncharacteristically silent amid the ongoing controversy over the popular beer brand's decision to partner with a transgender influencer, and many people have criticized the Republican for failing to weigh in on the highly publicized debate for over a month, as other notable GOP figures have been boycotting the company since early April. And that's the unique thing. This boycott has lasted for this long, which is already an achievement in and of itself. Usually boycotts after the first few weeks tend to die off and the company is either forgiven or the act that they have done was forgotten. But with Bud Light, it's been the opposite. And that's because normal people are sick of being exposed to all these woke agendas constantly, whether it's in entertainment or daily products that are consumed. And it's even worse in schools, having explicit books that shouldn't be there in the first place, but they are. Topics and materials that should only be discussed with one's parents when the time is right, but these schools are doing that for you when it comes to your kids. And it's things like these that cause these boycotts and the crazy amounts of backlash, because many consumers don't want to support it, and it leads to a boycott. And in this case, schools are starting to ban books. And Trump would also state in quotes, It's time to beat the radical left at their own game. Money does talk. Anheuser Bush now understands that. Great new book by Wayne Allen Root. Buy your copy today, he said on Truth Social. And it certainly is affecting Anheuser Bush. And they are feeling it with the lack of sales. Because many of these companies think that if you go with these woke narratives or agendas, they will have this barrier of protection. But that's not the case anymore. It may have been when all these things first started out, people letting it go by saying that it's a one-off thing, this or that. But many have come to realize, especially now, that it's never going to end. And this boycott took things to a whole nother level and shows that this barrier has diminished significantly. Trump's comment references the news that Bud Light sales dropped multiple weeks in a row, with the recent figures showing sales volumes of Bud Light had fallen by 21% in the week ending April 21st. Those protesting the brand celebrated the decline in sales as a sign that their action is having an impact on the company, which has faced accusations of alienating its customer base. And you have to keep in mind that weeks prior to that of April 21st, haven't been accounted for, so that 21% figure is going to be a lot higher, and just imagine the future weeks after April 21st, and that the sales haven't been reported, just imagine how much more of a decline Bud Light continues to face. And all of this could have been avoided if Bud Light stood by with their consumer base and actually having the right people promoting the product, and not someone in a wig. Having their consumers being shown promotions that feature masculine men or just simply the Bud Light girls that wear Bud Light shirts, which has been a giant hit for them. But instead, we continue to see companies taking minority groups of the population and promoting them to the majority rather than having the majority of the population, which is where the money is actually at. You can't take an already established company and just change it for the sake of pandering. Instead, companies should create new products that are unique and of new creations, not already established ones, and promote those to the small markets. Because at the end of the day, the minority group is not the majority and vice versa. And with all of that in mind, I like your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.